Hello there, Andrew Lynch, and today we're going to show, uh, especially for older golfers, could be me now, I am 60, uh, but this is a video about uh, the importance of shoulder turn because it creates width in our swing. So I'm going to do a couple of swings in three swings in effect. No warm up because that's the way we roll. And I'm going to do, from teaching thousands of lessons, I've seen a lot of older golfers, and this is what they look like. So I've got a five iron, and this is what a lot of older golfers look like. Wasn't a great strike, 73 miles an hour. Now, if you notice there, no shoulder turn. That's what I spot a lot. Now, I'm just going to dash and get the same ball, so it's really accurate. So now, I'm going to put a little bit of shoulder turn in there. Just swinging the golf club, but a little bit of shoulder turn. Seventy five miles an hour. So I've gone from seventy three to seventy five. So we're starting to see the importance of shoulder turn. Now I'm going to do a full ninety degree turn. So here we go. little bit fat 83 miles an hour so in those three swings I picked up 10 miles an hour of club head speed I'll just show you the finished one now I'm totally cold none of those swings were great but they were all about shoulder turn and 10 miles an hour so for each one mile an hour you get 2.5 yards so if I'm right that's 25 yards difference to the 5 iron because I've turned my shoulders that's huge so you know you'd get the same with your driver you'd get the same increase in speed so uh, here's the thing is that as we get older we seem to get a bit tighter and really that tightness stops us from turning our shoulders now we don't have to keep the foot on the floor the great Jack Nicholas, Sam Sneed etc etc Arnold Palmer all lifted the front foot and I think a lot of older golfers, me included, should. If you noticed, I started lifting that front foot, on, especially on the last one. And really, all you want to be doing as a drill is, that's a full shoulder turn. That's 90 degrees. My legs come up, I replant it, I go through. So, this is a very simple way to see if you could get yourself an extra 25 yards by doing one move properly and a lot of people say oh well you know if you've got health problems I understand you know if you've got a chronic bad back but most people don't have those problems they just tighten up so I'm going to do one more swing just because I want to <laughs> And then this time, I'm going to really try and swing a little bit further, because I think I was just short of 90. Let's see. So, 
One more swing. This time, nice full swing. Hundred and seven miles an hour. So let's see there's no video editing in there. You can see me going off and getting the same golf ball using the same radar in the same position and there's a huge difference isn't there? And all I'm doing is turning. Now you know me I love manual dilatory simply swinging golf and really all I'm doing is turning. Now with the last one, yes, I've tried to turn a little bit more because I'll be truthful, I'm guilty of swinging a little bit short sometimes. But I'm robbing myself, as you can see. So I'm 60 and I can still produce 107 mile an hour club head speed with a 5 iron. So I think if you go and you do a little test, film yourself, because Everybody can get the apps these days. See where this lead shoulder gets to. If it's not going to the centre of your body, you're swinging short. Now, if you're very fortunate and you're like a Tony female, six foot four and naturally kind of athletic, you're fine. But the other 99.9% .9 of us, <laughs> we both start turning our shoulders. So, try this. This could be the one reason you're we're getting shorter and shorter with all your clubs. But as you can see, I've gone from 873 to 107 in four swings. All because I'm turning my shoulders. This could be a lot cheaper than buying a $500 driver that doesn't do anything. So, check your shoulder turn with your camera and then just the simplest drill for this is really just kind of like there 90 degrees do that drill get used to it so from Andrew Lynch keeping it very simple but giving you a tip and a drill that could help you get well I got 25 yards, but the 107 is probably 45 yards. Get you a lot more distance off the tee and with your irons. Hope this helps. Get back to me with how it worked for you. Take care. Over and out. Andrew Lynch. Bye.